In this video, we're going to be introducing what analytical applications are. We're then going to understand how and why we can run these within Ultrix server. And then we're going to move over to Ultrix Designer to see what goes on behind the scenes. Hello, everyone. My name is Archie from the Information Lab. And today, we're going to be talking about apps. So when we think of apps, we automatically think of what we download on our phone, right? However, Ultrix offers analytical applications, which is basically um, a workflow which includes interface tools. So what interface tools allow, uh, it allows basically users to control certain elements of the underlying workflow, which changes the output depending on the conditions that they, that they include. Um, a really good thing about analytical applications is that you don't actually need an Ultrix license to use them. So they can be shared very easily within people, say, within your company. Um, and they can be used in a very simple way in the sense that you don't need a great understanding of all tricks in order to get the necessary output. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show you um, an, an app on an on a Ultrix server. So we're going to talk about the user interface. And then we're going to break down the app itself. OK, so I'm just going to head over to um, the server. So this is the Information Lab server. And we can see here that within my workspace, I have some apps that I have previously made, or some workflows as well. And what we're going to do, we're going to open one up. So this is the Superstore example. And we're going to head up here and click Run in the top corner. So you can set a, a job name and the priority, depending uh, on, on what, the, what the job is. And you can also assign a worker if necessary. So this is the user interface that we were talking about. It offers a list of questions depending on the workflow. Um, and in this case, we are able to choose a specific segment um, and a condition, and then the top n uh, people or um, rows. So let's just say we're happy with consumer. We're looking at the number of sales, and we want to see the top three. And then we click Run. So Altrix is going to think about this for a little bit, and then it's going to return um, the output, basically. So now we have the top three uh, rows based on the condition that we made. So now what we're going to do, we're going to dive into Alteryx, and we're going to unpack this app and see exactly what, um, what's behind the scenes. OK, so we're now in Alteryx. Um, I hope you like that little changeover. Uh, I've been working on it. Um, and basically what we can see here, we can see the main bulk of our workflow. OK, so the first thing that you should do when you're making an app is ensure that the, the workflow um, is working right before you worry about adding these interface tools. So just to break it down, we have our sample superstore. So we have our data set. And then the first tool basically filters out um, the particular segments. So in this case, um, we want to say, OK, so let's just say consumer, for example. Then after that, we want to add another filter tool, or we've added another filter tool which basically says that sales need to be greater or equal to 500. And then we sort it in descending order. And then we're able to take the first n rows using the sample tool. Okay, So this workflow um, at the moment is static. right? So it only does one thing. But how do we allow the users to interact with it? So that's when we use the interface tools. Okay, So we can find the interface tools um, in this section, just in this tool palette right here. And we can see that they are the black and white ones just in this section. So the first option that we have um, is we want to choose what we filter by. So we want to choose the specific segment. Um, so we can see here, this is the um, initial interface tool. This offers a drop down. And the, the prompt or the display is selected uh, in the top left here. So we're basically asking the user to select a specific segment. We then have an action tool which basically tells you what part of the filter tool that you're updating. So in this case, we're updating the value consumer. But before we do that, we need to basically tell the dropdown um, what options to give the user. So what we've done just before that, we have basically summarized this data set, which will give us a unique list of all the segments. The way that dropdown interface tools work is they read it by color, color headings, right? Um, column headings, sorry. And then, so what we need to do, we need to use a crosstab tool to basically add consumer, corporate, and home office along the field headers. Then, once we drag this into the input of this interface tool, it, Ultrix basically tells that tool, okay, so we're going to offer those three options to the user. 
So then, as I mentioned before, it goes through the action tool and it updates the specific um, consumer, or the, in this particular case, it's a consumer in the filter tool. So that's how we offer the dropdown, first of all. Next up, we want to be able to change the condition. And this is basically when we say, OK, so we want sales to be greater than a particular number. So what we do, we use a numeric up or down tool. And this basically allows us to select a range. And once again, um, here is the prompt. It's always, always very important to make the prompt specific so the user understands how to use it. Um, and then once again, the action tool is basically telling um, this particular tool what value we want to update. So in this case, we want to update the value of 500 with whatever value they want to put in. OK, so that is that tool. And then the final tool is very similar to the last one. And we basically want to say, OK, so choose the first n number of rows. So once again, we, can, we have the numeric up and down. We can change the min and the max and the increment, et cetera, et cetera. And then we basically, this action tool is explaining what value to update. So once again, we want to update the, um, the n value, so the top n. So this is basically the application behind the scenes. And the way that we can test these applications is by using this magic wand just here. And what we can see, let me just drag it up, we can see the exact same questions in the, uh, displayed in the exact same order as what we did on our server, right? So you can choose a particular segment. You can choose the minimum number of sales. So let's just say 10. And we want to see the, the best particular row. We click Finish. Alteryx will think about it. And then it will um, output in a particular place. So that is just an example of an Alteryx app, how we can run it on server, and what we can expect in Alteryx um, Designer when we're talking about applications. Okay, I hope that video is helpful. <laughs>